the leaves will always drive results. Let me show you this. This is Mount Everest. World's highest mountain, nearly 9,000 meters above sea level. This is an exciting future reality. And now, Bukitima, 164 meters. This is your present reality. Four years, raising nearly $1 million, 19 sponsors, which took three and a half years together. You're finally there. You know, Singapore Airlines Fly is there with a the budget economy class tickets, two tons of excess baggage, and then you're standing there looking at Mount Everest for the first time. It's fantastic. You know, if you see something that's 3,000 meters high from where you are, you're looking at it. It's so big that nobody says anything for a while. I'm just looking. And then some idiot says, wow, so big. <laughs> Soaring temperatures where in the daytime it's about 15 degrees, sorry, 25 degrees, and night times it's minus 15 degrees. There's a 40 degree difference between day and night. And at least there's one thing that we don't miss when we're there. It's the phone calling us from the office. <laughs> you need something to trigger it off. That's all they know, and they're still doing research on Guillain Barre syndrome. The upshot about it is that you wind up being totally paralyzed for six months. 43 days on the ventilator, in which you're subject to all the indignities of hospital life. Your lungs are suctioned out every two hours because of the fluid accumulation. So, why am I sharing you this horrible story? Because there's some very powerful lessons in it. First of all, you know who your friends are? Young Justin, my best friend in the team, comes running to me in the hospital room on day four. He says, Dave, Dave, guess what? They have found out what you've got finally, after all the tests. You've got this rare, sexy-sounding French disease. And if you die, you'll be a legend. <laughs> Friends, huh? <laughs>